Taking over in the landscape of the kicks and capping any bricks. I'll fire you desire, my rock can maybe flip. It's season, you never trip, get them early, you never miss. No bot, but if they have me get to the court, they cap. Now welcome to Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, yeah, Bobby Sneaker World. Sneaker World, Sneaker World. Hey yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Bobby Sneaker World, and I am back with another video. Now today, we're back at the Nike outlets. Well, we're at the Tanger outlets, but. I'm going into the Nike store. They got 30% off the hash wall. That's not why I'm here. I'm just out in this area. And I also want to come walk around the outlet while it's before it starts snowing tomorrow and see if I can find some jeans. Um, so I'm gonna go in Nike first. And since I'm out here, I figured I'd bring y'all with me. So if that big button down below is still red, you're doing it all wrong, make sure that button is gray. Come over here and join the movement. Let's walk in this Nike store. All right, let's start over here on the kids' hash wall. Let's see what we got over here. I don't know what the hell that is. What is it? No, thanks. Josiah would feel so disrespected. I actually like this colorway. Not for $90. Not even for 30% off. I'm good money on that. Let's see. $45 aren't bad for those, plus 30% off. Got the low 312s. Oh. See much of anything. They want 70 bucks, 30% off. None too crazy over here. You got the Cortez with the strap. Okay. We got the baby sizes over here. You see what it is, you know. We got the regular highs. Starting to be boot season again. You got the Lunars, $69. Now, the 30% is only off the hash. It's not off of the regular rack. So, the price you see suggested, this is the obviously price now. Here, outlet prices. Got a few of these, whatever these are. You got your... Forrest Gumps for 50. New Vapor Max 120. A lot of this stuff is in every one of you guys' outlets. I don't know what the prices are in your local outlets, but it's a lot of the same things that have made it there. You got some of the Cortez. These are like some type of nylonish material and it's like burnt, burnt orange, Texas Longhorn orange. You got the double swoosh red. The patent leather swoosh, 40 bucks. Forrest Gumps, once again, 50 bucks. And then you got your regular Smeggler. You got these terrible Olive 11s. Got a few sizes. All right, let's come over here to my sizes, or the men's size, I should say. You got this, like, I don't know what this pattern is in there, but you got these Vapor Max Plus. Um, you got these, 125. Got quite a few of these 720s, every single colorway you can imagine. A bunch of different prices. You got from 135 to 119 to 99. The 200s for 100. I don't know what this is. It's like a ACG. Yeah. Got the low top. 60 bucks another ACG low 65 get this joint with the South Beach sock ankle collar 90 bucks not my swag but you know they're in here you got these bread up tempos the 95s got the bread colorway 129 full size run you got the other colorway, I guess you would call it reverse bread. You got the mellow colorway, look like Denver Nuggets for 90. You know, quite a, quite a few of those. And then you got your boot action down here, 20% off. Got some 95s, 130. Got your Air Max Plus for one. 
20 plus 20 percent off i guess that's not bad if you're into those you got these camo tailwind fours 90 bucks plus 20 percent if you're into that got some kobe's 70 bucks I still don't think the retail price on these should be 175. I just do I don't think this is a $175 sneaker. But who am I? You got some of these LeBron witnesses in a few colorways, your traditional basketball sneakers, not really a lifestyle sneakers. Some more of these Kobe's, the Mambas, a couple colorways, all 70 bucks, some Kyrie's. I think we got some more Kyrie's down here. The red lobster version. The Anthony Davis from last year. 70 bucks. More of your I don't know. Yeah, these now these are dad sneakers right here. Not this dad, but they are dad sneakers. More Nike basketball, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that you see. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep that to myself. They got these Mars 270s in here in a couple colorways, the Chicago colorway, and this, I don't know, this is like peach in the back. It's like a shadow with peach on it. You like it, I love it, man. Not for no $135. I wouldn't buy those for $35. These Spizikes either. Now, you know your Nike outlet is trash when your retros on the NREC is the, are these. $69. 312s, these Spizikes, and these mids. That sums up this outlet. I still don't understand these Proto Max. But I've seen people wearing them. So, you know, can't be too mad. Alright, I've had enough of these racks. Let's go see if we can find a hidden gem on the wall. Alright, over here in small sizes, we got... Oh, 100 bucks. They are bugging. 30% off, that ain't bad. But I do like this colorway, though. But they should be like 79 with 30% off at this point. But dope colorway though. Got these. How much they want for these? What the? 175 down to 175. Okay. Come on, Nike. What are we doing here? Epic Reacts, 110, 30% off. Let's just go to my size, because I'm starting to get pissed off. Damn, I hate you, Nike Outlet. This Nike Outlet is trash, man. Ain't nothing back here. You got a bunch more of these. You got all of them Kobe's. You got these terrible, I don't know what, I don't, what is going on? There's absolutely nothing back here. You have to understand that they are coming off of that. Friends and family as well. So, I'm sure everything is already picked over and gone out of here. You got a few of these Jordan mids. No, thank you. Look like they got these Lava 4s. For, oh, they bugging. 160. I don't. These should be 60 bucks. Even when they dropped, they should, be, should have been 60. They should have started at the outlet. Well, obviously, Nike was a bust. So we're gonna stop in a few stores and uh, see if I can find some jeans, something affordable, something on sale. If not, I'm headed back to the house. No harm, no foul. See you in a second. All right, so we're back on the couch. And uh, I'm going to pin a comment down in the comment section below. Well, y'all can just fast forward to this part where we where we talk about the pickups over here in this bag. Um, because the Nike outlets are what they are here in Ohio. I watch Nike outlet pickup blogs on YouTube all the time. And a lot of people seem to find gems or have some at least some retros here and there. It's never the case here in Columbus, man, or close to it. So um, for those of you that had to suffer through, it's probably like eight or nine minutes of footage without seeing any heat i apologize but i do thank you guys for making it to this part i mean watching this long into the video and hopefully this part of the video is worth it um seeing the pickups man because i do the only the last the last piece of heat that i got out of the nike outlet which was a and it was a steal was these nike lebron martins man so i think i got these for 
40 or 50. I can't remember. I did a video on it. I'll put um, a card up. You can go watch that video, that Nike uh, video. Um, but I did get these for like 100, and, 100 bucks, 125 bucks or something like that out the door, man. So go watch that video. Um, but this was the last thing that I got that was crazy. And it was a steal at the Nike outlet. So other than that, let's get into this bag. All right, so like I said, I didn't get anything out of the out the Nike outlet, but we did stop by TJ Maxx, and I got three pieces. I'm gonna start off with this long sleeve tee down here because it they kind of go match the sneakers that I wore today, and I got this Obey long sleeve tee. It was only $14.99. TJ Maxx special. You know what I'm saying? Long sleeve, simple but fire. Only reason I picked it up, I would probably wouldn't even have really paid attention to it because I don't really be thinking while I'm out in the store sometimes. A lot of times I'm going for something specific and I'm not just browsing the aisles. But since I had these on foot, I was like, man, that, that shirt just popped out to me. So now I've officially found, because you can see that it has that teal and it has this this like navy blue. And there's not much in this, but this is like a purplish. So I guess that, I, I just showed you that for no reason because this is purple. That's not navy blue. And you won't see it anyway Anyway, when I got jeans on. But the teal and the white is going to pop. Um, so I can't wait to put that outfit together. That'll probably be on IG at some point whenever I feel like breaking these back out. Love these. Love, love, love these. So that was my first pickup. $15 TJ Maxx. Um, what the what are we gonna go with next? All right. Next, this is on my grown man. I a lot of people don't I don't see a lot of people wearing this brand anymore. I still have a few pieces. Um, but this is simple but dope. Now you got this burgundy and navy with white uh horizontal stripes on the sleeve. You got your Lacoste. Thin, it's like a thin, it's not a windbreaker, but it's a hoodie, but it's it's not really thick. It's just more of a casual hoodie. Nothing, no big gaiters on the back or anything like that. You just got the white stitch crocodile right there on the left chesticle. Very, very dope. Very, very dope. I might do it on body, not in this video, but I might do a little try on of all of these pieces at another point. No, and this was... $29.99. Original retail price on this. Let me see if it's on here. It might not have it on here. But I'm pretty no, it's not on here. But I guarantee. Oh, it says $40. So $10 off. So I got it for $29.99. Now this next one is getting cold. I don't even know if this is some type of cool brand or not, but I tried it on in the store and it's fire. Um, it just says Sunrise Kingdom. I don't know what brand that is. I'm, a sh I'm sure that's not some, some crazy brand. And it don't have a retail price, suggested retail price, but $24.99. This all like maroon corduroy jacket, man. This is so dope, man. Now, when I wear this, when I put do an on-body video, y'all really be able to appreciate this even more with this white fur collar, all fur, well, faux fur, um, like fleece-type material, interior, really, really clean, really, really clean. So, I got all of this stuff for under about 70 bucks or around 70 bucks, um, but it was worth it, man. It, I mean, the, the trip to the outlet... Nothing came of it, but I got three different pieces from TJ Maxx. So I'm a huge, huge, huge advocate for TJ Maxx, man. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, I don't go to Burlington's that much, but I see a lot of people finding stuff in Burlington, Coat Factory and stuff like that. Go to these stores, man. They have your Ralph Lauren, your Lacoste, your Levi's, all the different essentials for, you know what I'm saying, streetwear. And they also have a lot of dress clothes as well. So you can find your casual stuff and your t-shirts. You can find your socks and drawers there for a very, very affordable price. Obviously, I ain't sponsored by 
TJ Maxx, I wish. <laughs> but um, I do think you can go find a bunch of steals and deals in your TJ Maxx and Marshalls um, stores. Now, especially at the outlets, it, it might mark them down even more sometimes. So, um, like I said, man, that concludes the video. Abel had to make a cameo. But um, that that's the end of the video, man. But Nike Outlet, man, y'all got to do better, man. Y'all got to start putting some stuff in there that, that's worth showing up for, man. I know we just came off the friends and family. I didn't even make it up there for the friends and family uh sale this year or this time around, but so maybe that was the case. Probably not because there's never anything in there. But that's enough. That's a big. I'm done ranting on the Nike store at the outlet. Um, y'all seen what I picked up? I appreciate y'all watching, man. Like I said, if that big button down below is still red. You're doing it all wrong, man. Make sure that button is great. Come over here and join the movement, man. Love y'all. Ovi!